Hey Divas, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Gina and I am going to be sharing with you guys what I got from the grocery store. I literally just came in still wearing my jacket and thought, let me get out all my things and film a grocery haul, especially since because I'm on a weight loss journey. I see a lot of new subscribers coming here, a lot of new followers on my Instagram and on my TikTok, all wanting to know how I've lost the amount of weight that I've lost, a total of 73 pounds so far. And everyone just has a ton of questions on how I am doing it, what am I doing? I do have a video on how I lost 70 pounds. I will leave that link down below and also what I eat in a day. But as I mentioned in that video, I eat different things, like not the same thing every single day, just because I like to switch it up. And I also do have a lot of food in here that may not be the healthiest, but it works for me. So you really just have to find what works for you and your body. You know, I've tried those diets where you eat the same single thing every day super super small portions and it just doesn't work for me I had to find kind of what works for me you know if you track your calories even if you're having a slice of pizza which may not be the healthiest just track it you know that's the that's the start that I found that has also helped me a little bit once I started tracking my calories I feel like you know I could eat this or I could eat that but I'm staying in my little calories if you hear my son in the background, he is in the room with my grandmother. They are watching a movie or playing with toys or doing something. So they do get a little loud because they have fun together. So if you hear that in the background, that is just them. So I do have some stuff like that I used today that I had in my fridge that I wanted to show you as like a reference of what I do like to eat. And then all the rest is like what I got from the grocery store today, just because I'm ordering some more of these off of Amazon tonight. They come from Whole Foods. So let me just start with this. This right here is just egg. I had to put the date on it because it lasts seven days once you opened it. So we're gonna finish the rest of this tomorrow. This is an egg substitute. So with, you know, us being vegan, this is our egg. Instead of having a real egg, we use this. And honestly, I had it today in a little tortilla with some vegan cheese and some hot sauce. And it was really good. Before the first time I had this, I didn't like it because I grew up eating, you know, regular eggs and I thought, but this don't taste like a regular egg. The longer I go without eating a real egg, this tasted so good today that I can't wait to have it again tomorrow for breakfast. So I ordered this off of Amazon. It comes from Whole Foods and it's just called Just Egg. So I love that. And it scrambles up just like real egg. I made my husband today real scrambled eggs and then me and my son's little egg substitute and they looked exactly the same. Don't let it fool you. And it tasted really good. So I have right here my favorite granola. This has eight grams of plant-based protein, 27 grams of whole grains, gluten-free and non-GMO. This is just a granola I love to put in my yogurt. To give my yogurt a little bit of flavor, you can make your own homemade granola, which I have in the past before. Sometimes I like a more sugary granola instead of like a really healthy homemade one. So this one is my little treat and I love it. This right here is one of my favorite snacks. I absolutely love wheat thins. They're so good. I, I just love them. And my son loves them now. He, he's a wheat thin fiend. We have some black olives. I love to put these in salads. I'm going to make a salad tomorrow. This right here is my favorite oatmeal. It is the maple and brown sugar. It's the high fiber one because you can never have enough fiber. It's good for you. I don't know if you can have too much fiber. I don't want to say that and someone come at me like, if you have too much fiber, I just know that fiber is good for you. So I like to get the high fiber for my oatmeal. More little tortillas. You can make tortilla pizzas out of these. They're low calories. I filmed it in the What I Eat in a Day video if you want to check that out. I had a bigger tortilla, but it's like a really low calorie pizza and you can have two of them for like 300 calories. So I love doing that. And these are the little tortillas that I also put my little egg, my vegan egg on, and it tasted so good. These are just flour tortillas. If you like corn tortillas, get those. If you like wheat tortillas, I just love the flour tortillas. Now, right here we have bread, and this is the bread that we get. So, like I said, I do what works best for me, and I know that white bread isn't the healthiest, but it's what I enjoy. I could get wheat bread and eat that, and not really enjoy it as much and kind of mm, go on with my meal. But I want something that I know that I'm going to really enjoy, fill myself up, and then move on to my snack and my next meal for later on in the day. I don't want to be unsatisfied because that has put me in the past where it makes me gain more weight because now I'm not satisfied. I want to eat something else. So definitely do not deny yourself of anything. Just make sure you're eating it in moderation. 
I also love to get my mini chocolate chips. These ones are by Enjoy Life. They are gluten-free, vegan, and something else. I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're really, really, really clean ingredients. Um, so we love this brand. They also make some nice cookies that my son likes. Sometimes I like to put the vegan chocolate chips in oatmeal to make a chocolate oatmeal. Uh, I made vegan muffins with these before. I put them in my yogurt. Sometimes I just eat them as a snack. So these come in handy a lot, especially when you're looking for that sweet treat. We also got tortilla strips. These are great for a salad. I am all about texture. You know, if I have like the same textured thing, it gets very boring. And when you're eating healthy and you're trying to, let's say, reach your goal, you want to eat things that you know, tastes good and have different textures so it kind of changes up each bite. So I love to put these in salads and I also got these croutons because I love croutons. I know they're not the healthiest, same like those, but you gotta have them in a salad because if you don't have them in a salad, it's just not a salad to me. So I have to have croutons, love croutons. They're so good and back in the day when I was not vegan, I loved, if you aren't vegan, try it out for a little quick treat. I loved putting croutons in feta cheese with like a salad dressing, really good. They do make a vegan feta. Maybe I should try that out sometimes and let you know how that is. I also got some whole roasted and salted cashews and some sriracha cashews. We are a fiend in the house for cashews. We got this like a week ago, maybe a little less than a week ago, and look how much is already gone. My son just started eating cashews and he loves them so much. I mentioned, uh, what did I, did I film the what I ate in a day? Did I show the cashews? I know, no, in my, how I lost 70 pounds. I know that they are high in like fat, so you can't eat too much of them, but they're a really nice snack. So that is why we got some more cashews. I got some Kite Hill cream cheese. This is my favorite cream cheese. This is the chive flavor. And this is also great to put on your wheat thins, kind of dip them in like a little dip. And also I put them on my bagels, which are somewhere around here. I'll show you them as well. Some cherry tomatoes for my salad. I'm really looking forward to this salad. I've been craving a salad for like a while now, but because everything going on in the world, like all the produce was gone, so now they're kind of like stocking up at our store. I also got some iceberg lettuce, which they didn't have last time, so I'm glad they did. Some roasted red pepper hummus. Oh my God, we love hummus too. Great for your wheat thins. My son loves Hummus. I'm so glad that my son loves a lot of healthier foods because with me struggling with my weight, I really don't want him to struggle. So trying to give him healthier snacks. We got almond milk. We got two almond milks actually because we go through almond milk so quickly because my son is dairy free. He needs milk. So we get almond milk and we just started getting the vanilla flavor like a week ago and it's so good you guys. So we got two vanillas of almond milk. This is our favorite vegan chicken. This is the Gardein. Gardein makes the best. If you are looking to try a vegan meat, Gardein, I would definitely say, is the first one that you should try and get the orange chicken. My husband loves it. My mom loves it. Son loves it. I love it. My grandmother really likes it. So this is our favorite. We got two bags. And if you have a bigger family, I would definitely buy two bags because for the price of them, they're like $5 each. One bag isn't enough for like a family. So we get two and that feeds me, my husband, my son, and my mom. So get two bags. And also I really wanted to get the Boca turkey patties. Those are really good with some cheese on it to have like a nice burger. Um, we love the Morning Star chicken patties. Those are also a really great substitute. The Buffalo ones are my fave, but you know, they weren't in stock today. So definitely got some of these and you should try those too if you're looking for a meat substitute. Also got some raisins and spice. Now, I know that I could be making my, you know, oatmeal from scratch, just using the oats and making them very plain, but I can't, my palate, I don't, I can't do that, okay? I've tried and I've wasted a whole bowl of oatmeal before just cause, you know, I need something mm, good. Maxi, we need to have Maxi bark if you guys are new here. Go back in some of my videos, you always hear him barking. So I know these aren't the healthiest, but we got some raisins and spice just because it fits in my calories. So I'm gonna have it. This right here is a nice sweet treat and my son's favorite thing in the whole wide world. Oreos, um, we just love Oreos. So we had to get some of those. I know not the healthiest, but I mean, what can I say? We're human. We can't eat healthy 24 seven. We gotta have a little treat. Some bagels, they're just the plain bagels. 
love the Thomas ones. They're so like hearty and like really good. So I love those. We got some more olives here. These are black sliced olives. So if you don't want to have whole olives in your salad, you can have the sliced ones. I just love olives, so I don't care if they're whole or sliced. I will eat them right up. My mom is going to be making chili this week. She makes the best chili. She makes the best chili, and my son has recently been eating a ton of beans like by themselves. So we have some kidney beans in the dark red and the light red. So sometimes for my son, I do wanna film uh, what my toddler eats in a day. So if you have a baby and you wanna see kinda of like what he eats, sometimes he just eats some plain beans and I think they're good for him. They have a lot of protein and fiber and all that good stuff. So those are great to have. And also my mom and I love sliced beets on our salad. I don't know what it is. I used to never like it. I used to look at my mom's salad. My grandmother likes it too and think, oh my God, why are you, why are you putting those on there? But oh, they're so good, I can't. We also got these. These are really great to snack on, but we also like to put them in our chili or when we make a homemade vegan pizza, which I will get to that. I have some dough somewhere. These are really great to slice up and put them on your pizza, put them in your chili, or just snack on them and dip them in some hummus. These are so sweet, and I really love these. So we got some of those. We also got some dough right here so we can make homemade vegan pizza. So we got our dough. Um, I also, speaking of vegan chili, we got these Beyond Beef Beefy Plant-Based Crumbles, 14 grams of protein per serving. So this is what they look like. This is what's gonna go in our chili, just to kind of add a little bit more to it, but I really do like it with just beans, but I haven't tried the Beyond Beef Crumbles yet. I've tried like, I don't know if the Morningstar ones are vegan, but I've tried, Boca ones, I believe, and they're really good. So we went to BJ's the other day. For those that do not know what BJ's is, I believe it's like a Costco. It's like a wholesale place where you can buy food and drinks in bulk. So that's what we like to do. And then we go to the grocery store to get our other stuff. But it seems like lately we've been going to BJ's a lot and going to the grocery store a lot because we have been running through food like crazy. I think because we're all home, we're just eating more, you know? So. That is just, I had to say that. I got these body armor that I'm gonna show you. We got them at BJ's. I just wanted to show them to you guys because it's my first time buying them in bulk. So I will show them to you guys in a few minutes, but let's, let's keep going. These are my favorite. I have the other one right here. My son's favorite too. He used to eat these like every morning until like we ran out. So these are the Vans gluten-free original waffles and pancakes. These are amazing. I like to have these sometimes for breakfast. You can sprinkle some of the vegan chocolate chips on there, put some light maple syrup on there. Really good and like a sweet breakfast to kind of get those sweet cravings out of the way. So I love that. Let me kind of move all my stuff out of the way so I can show you these drinks. So like I said, I already opened it and I put a stack in my mini fridge in the game room. So this is what they look like. My son's playing with the bag, <laughs> that's what you hear. Mom life, toddler life, this is what it is, people. You know, the thing with YouTube videos, you can edit things out really nice and easy. Like I've edited things out in the past where my son might be screaming because he wants a toy or wants food and you know, I have to get up and give it to him. But I'm not editing it out right now because this is my real life. I am a mother and this is what it is. So he's pulling out all the bags now. So this right here is 20 bottles, 16 ounces, body armor, light sports drink. I get these ones in the low calorie because for one bottle, it's only 20 calories. So I did mention in my weight loss update that I like to have a diet soda sometimes just because, you know, you need a little bit of something. I was like a Coke fiend. I love Coca-Cola and there are still some days that I do have a can of Coke just to treat myself because you need to do that. But this right here, I thought, ooh, I could put these in the fridge and it's only 20 calories and if I need like that nice sweet type of drink, I'll have one of these. Because we do get a lot of apple juice, um, orange juice, and I do treat myself to this once in a while just because orange juice is really good for you. I love apple juice. That was one of my favorite drinks growing up was apple juice. So. Uh, I do treat myself, but to have a drink that is 16 fluid ounces for only 20 calories, you can't beat that. So you guys saw that we bought orange juice. And then in here we get the Dea Cheddar style shreds. 
these are just a vegan cheese. You know, you put them on your pizza. I put this on my little egg tortilla this morning. We do have the mozzarella one in the fridge, but it's open, so we wanted to get one of these for our pizza. This is just the cheddar style. So this cheese right here is perfect for like pizzas and things that you're going to melt. Now, Gaia cheese is not like my favorite cheese where I could eat it plain. Unlike this one right here, which is by Field Roast, and it's the chow one, absolutely love this. My son will eat a slice of it plain. Kind of like what I used to do back in the day when I used to have a slice of American cheese. My son now eats this little vegan cheese and he loves it. So I can eat this plain too. This one, I would prefer not to. I like it melted and heated up. So this, I love this so much that I found this at Walmart when we had to do our Walmart grocery shop. We got the chow cheese today, but we also found they had this creamy mac and chow. We had it yesterday, we bought two packets. So good, best vegan mac and cheese I've tried yet, and I've tried a ton of them. I do love one of them, I don't even know the name of it, so I can't even say, next time I have it, I'll show it to you. It comes with powdered cheese, kinda like Kraft, but this right here is so good, best mac and cheese I've ever tried. I just love the chow. So we got that. We got jalapenos. These are my favorite things to put on salads, put on my little tortilla pizzas to eat plain. I just love the jalapenos. We also got the Follow Your Heart Organic Vegan Caesar Dressing. I love Caesar dressing and this tastes just like it. So I'm gonna put this on my salad, kind of make it like a Panera style salad. We also got a cucumber. These are great for your salads to make a cucumber sandwich. Love this. If you guys have never tried a cucumber sandwich, you have to make one. So good. I put a little bit of vegan mayo, salt, pepper, and this. Really, my mom does because she makes the best ones that I've ever tried. So we love cucumber sandwiches. This right here is vegan butter that we use. This one is just the original one. Normally, we get the organic one, but they're out of everything lately. So if you want to try this out, definitely try the light yellow one. It's my favorite, but this one tastes the exact same. I don't know why the other one's my favorite when they're literally the same thing, but I always get the light yellow. But since they were out, we went back to our old roots and got the dark yellow one. And last but not least, you guys, you need gum. I remember watching The Biggest Loser, and I remember Jillian Michaels saying, sometimes when you're hungry, like even though you just ate, you gotta trick your body a little bit. So I don't do this when I'm extremely hungry and I'm starving myself. I do this, my son's walking around now with two potatoes. I do this when I just ate something but I'm still feeling hungry. This kind of tricks your body into thinking that you're eating. So you're chewing by chewing the gum, but then you're also swallowing, which makes your body think like you're eating, but you're really not. You know what I'm trying to say? And then you drink some water and it gets that little craving right out of the way until you have your next snack or your next meal. I love to have gum on me and I'm like a gumaholic, like it's a problem. I remember back in middle school, I took a full purse, and I'm not joking, a full purse just filled with gum. I was like the gum dealer that day at school. Everyone was coming up to me for gum. Even people that didn't talk to me was coming up for gum and I don't know. I had a ton of gum that day and it was crazy. So I just wanted to, you know, hop on here. I know that it's probably gonna be a long video. It's not gonna be a quick one, Gina. I was talking a lot. Yeah, now my son has the bottle of ketchup. He loves ketchup, he can eat it plain. He's just like his mother. I used to love taking bread putting ketchup and eating it, I don't know, but my son is just like that, so now he's eating the ketchup. So, I know this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, I thought it was gonna be pretty short, so I'm not even gonna say my little spiel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I got at the grocery store. It varies each time we go, because most of the time we don't need to get more cheese because we have it in the fridge. Sometimes we get something else, sometimes we get the same thing. It just changes each time. So, uh, this is kinda, you know, this is my grocery haul for this week. And if you want to see, <laughs> now he has a strawberry, <laughs> he's in the fridge. So if you guys want to see more grocery hauls, I can do that for you, especially next time we go to BJ's, I can get more wholesale things like my drinks and other things that we get there. But if you guys enjoy these type of videos, please let me know because I will film them again for you because we go grocery shopping a lot and I have a lot of groceries that I can show you. So uh, yeah. I'm losing track because I'm out of the corner of my eye. I see my son in the fridge. So I'm going to go now, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, subscribe. Join the Diva Squad. We have a lot of fun over here. I hope you guys are having fun over here because I am. So if you guys want to join, join. And talk to me in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. Talk to me there. DM me. I love talking to you guys. And I will see you in my next video. I'm going to stop rambling. Bye, Divas.
You guys, I am behind the camera now, but I forgot to show you that I had to get my vegan yogurt right here. This is just the Almond Breeze original one. I like the vanilla and the original, so because they were out of the vanilla, we got two original right here, so I forgot to show this. Now this completes my grocery haul. So I'm gonna go now. Bye!